Going into our uh, sixth practice tomorrow and a scrimmage, we'll have a full scrimmage tomorrow, but uh, guys are working hard. Got uh, more depth, I feel, than we've had in the past, especially maybe at uh, especially the wide receiver position, skill position, running back position, offensive line is coming. Um, so we're moving forward. Defensively had a good day today, I thought, out there, and uh, our specialist, Sadler, looks very, very explosive as a punter. Um, picked up right where we've left off as kicker and field goal and that type of thing. So. Um, I'll just take, take some questions and we'll sort of go from there, but that's probably usually the best way to do it. Mark, what was the scene like with Arthur Ray out there today? Well, you know, Arthur uh, had an opportunity to step out to practice today, and, uh, you know, it's been a long time coming. You know, it's been four years. And I think more than anything, it's a starting point to be back on the field. Uh, it also, I think, gives hope to everybody uh, who's in any kind of tough situation in their life. If you just keep pushing, push through adversity, you've got a chance. But it was great seeing him out there. We want to try and work him in very, very gradually to see how he does in, in really individual drills and allow him to get confidence uh, in himself and really allow ourselves to get confidence in him that he, where he would not be at risk. And we've talked about that, but uh, he's an outstanding young man and he's persevered and uh, uh, it was emotional to see him out there. Was this a long shot with the NCAA or did you feel confident the whole time? I felt pretty confident that, um, that it would get done. Big Ten Conference, uh, the office did a nice job. Uh, you know, passing it on to the NCAA, and really they made the decision probably in, in a two weeks' time period, which, you know, for the NCAA to make a decision that quickly is, uh, um, is a beautiful thing in that situation. He stayed around with you quite a bit, too, Anthony. I mean, oh, yeah, he's always been. He's always been here. He's been throughout. He's been at every practice uh, doing something in some capacity uh, on the sideline or, or staying in shape. You know, the majority of what he's done has been to uh, sort of recuperate and and begin to come back in terms of, uh, you know, physical conditioning and that type of thing. So it's been a long journey. Uh, you know, a guy was on, on crutches for two years almost. Uh, so, uh, again, very emotional. Any separation with Ruin and Treddy at all? Uh, I would say not right now. You know, those guys all have an opportunity. We're going into our first scrimmage. And what we've tried to do is install things. So now we're getting to the point where they have to do it on their own out on the field. Um, tomorrow, really the three big scrimmages we'll, we have will uh, we'll give you some type of indication. I think Travis Jackson's in there as well. He's doing a nice job as well. When you see Ray step on the field for the first time, is that a dramatic scene or do you do anything special for him? What's no, we just, no. Mm -mm, he doesn't want it like that. So, uh, you know, he, he would prefer that we, uh, that we just try and get on with business. And uh, so he didn't want any of that. So we're just trying to, you know, move forward. And, but uh, it's, you know, it's understood, I think, between, uh, with everybody here within this program uh, that uh, it's a special day for him. So it was January he got cleared by the doctors, is that right? And then you guys applied? He was, he was cleared by the doctors to be able to, to run and be pretty active in, in um, conditioning. And so, uh, you know, he's been doing that, and it's been very slowly but surely, as you could imagine, over the course of really the last year. Um, but finally his doctors cleared him and said, hey, you can play football again. Now the question will be is, uh, uh, you know, his confidence and how long he's been out of football and those type of things. He's kept his body in shape and, you know, he looks like a player out there, you know, physically and, you know, you've got to play at this high level. So there's, that'll be the next challenge. In terms of the running backs, obviously that's such a key component of your team. How have they looked and what strides have they made? Uh, they look very, very good. You know, Edwin Baker, uh, Le'Veon, you know, Larry Caper and uh, Nick Hill, all been very explosive. Um, they've all done a nice job. There's a lot of retention there. Um, Jeremy Langford's the fifth guy in there, and he's, he was red-shirted. But uh, we've got good skill with that position, and we're healthy. And, uh, you know, we'll keep moving forward. Have the receivers picked up where they left off pretty much? Yeah, I would say our receiver, our receiver group can be very, very special. You know, you add in Keith Mumphrey and uh, Tony Lippett into that mix. Uh, you can see that Keith Nickel is much more comfortable now. You know, last year at this time, he's really moving into that position full time for the first time, and he's very comfortable there. And, uh, Cunningham will be back out on the field very shortly. And, and uh, there, see, there it is. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, Cunningham will be back on, the, back on the field here pretty soon, so that'll be another positive. But, uh, you know, we go, about, we go about six, you know, six or seven or eight uh, very quality uh, type.
type players. How is Luka doing? Uh, very good. Ball? Very good. We will move him over to the defensive side of the ball uh, to get him ready on that side of the ball this next week, and he'll, but he'll also continue to play on offense. I think he has this type of skill. Got to be able to play in more than 15, 16, 20 snaps. And with our, with our depth at wide receiver, that's what you've got to look at, I think. You've got to be able to put him on the field more. Have there been any injuries of note? Um, no, Arjun is out. Calhoun is out with an elbow right now. He's a young freshman that uh, came in at mid-year. He's out. I'm probably missed the rest of the spring with that the only other guy, other than what we've already talked about. How have the backup uh, quarterbacks been doing? Andrew Maxwell has been uh, outstanding. Uh, you know, obviously Cousins done very well, but Andrew Maxwell is, is uh, this is his third year in the program, and you you can tell he's got a great arm, he's got great awareness, he's got full control of the offense, uh, and I really feel like he would start at a lot of places as a quarterback. So I feel very very good about that. You know, we'll probably get Keith uh, Nichols some reps at quarterback as an emergency situation as we move forward. You know, maybe the last two weeks of spring ball just to work him a little bit there because uh, just because of a depth, a depth issue there. But, uh, you know, obviously he's got quality rep, quality player at that position as well. How's the battle between Lewis and Joan going? Isaiah's still there? Uh, good. Isaiah's uh, and, and Jarius are both, uh, you know, when you look at them, you can say, uh, you know, they're functional and they play within the system. Both of them can. I think Isaiah uh, right now is, is playing maybe a little bit better. Uh, very powerful, explosive guy. Um, if I'm using the word explosive, that's usually a good thing. So, um, but I think Jarius is, is now going into his third year, uh, so he's he's uh, he's playing well as well. How's it shaking out the star with uh, Danico Smokers? How's it shaking out the star with Danico Smokers? Uh, Danico had a great uh, great practice today. Um, he's been very solid. You know, Chris Norman is out. He he can pr practice, but he can't go scrimmages and live live work. So he's a little bit more individual work. So. But uh, those two guys figure to be two of our linebackers that are playing outstanding. How about the tight ends and how's that battle going? You know, tight ends, uh, you know, Selleck's back, Lithicum's back, you know, Dion's back out there. I think it's uh, his position, again, of depth for us right now. All those guys are very, very effective, so. Is Lithicum back in full with everything? Yeah, he is. But Selleck's had a lot of injuries there, but is he now, you know, 100% Fully healthy. How, how good of a blocker can he be if, he's, if he can keep Well, he's a fifth-year senior. He's weighing almost 260. So he could be um, he could be very solid. Again, so much of this, I think, is is knowing what to do and being able to do these these things that we ask them at a, at a rapid pace, be able to, to adjust blocking schemes and those type of things on the move. Um, so, you know, that's that's all a big part of it. So he's, uh, he's very, very, very well versed at that. How much did uh, Benny Fowler getting time last year in the season help coming in the spring? He's a confident player. Uh, you see him making plays out there. That's when I talk about our wide receiver position. You know, you, you've got you've got some guys. You know, Benny is a big physical right, wide receiver and uh, can run very effectively. Uh, he's making plays on the field. You know, Donald Spencer's another guy that's out there. Sontag's out, but he can be a little bit. He can he can be in the mix. CD Rucker can be in the mix, but. But really, the top guys are nickel right now. I feel, and uh, obviously Keyshawn and uh, Benny Cunningham, uh, but uh, Mumphrey and Lippitt have been have looked very special as well. After oh, three, just a second. Did you did you ever foresee this actually happening, or do you consider this? Well, amazing? you always. I think you always um, you always continue to, to to have faith in things and hope for for the best. And I knew that he was determined. And you know when you put. Uh, when you want something bad enough, there's a greater chance that you get it today. But again, I think it's a, I think it's a, uh, an example to a lot of people who are going through a lot of tough times in their life that if they can just persevere, you know, good things can happen for them. Because, uh, you know, this guy, he's had, you know, four or five or six operations, surgeries. Uh, you know, he was on crutches for two years. You know, there was a lot of doubt whether he was going to be able to walk again. That's outstanding that he's to this point. Even though he didn't want too much attention, could you tell there was a little something extra today? With oh, he's very emotional. Focus? Yeah, emotional, very emotional. You know, and uh, very uh, feels very blessed and uh, very thankful to everybody involved who have helped him through the process. 
but uh, as he told me, he, he said, Coach, it's been four years, four years since he's been on the football field. So you can just imagine, here's a guy who you know, had his choice of where he wanted to go to school, pick Michigan State, and then um, so that, was five, that was in 2007. So spring of 2007 was, is, was when that he first found out about uh, his cancer situation, which is in full remission. Did he, did he do any hitting today? Uh, you know, individual stuff, but we're not going to get him mixed up in crowds of people. But individual stuff, yeah. Is it, for, is it through, throughout the spring, or is it possible at the end of spring? Uh, we're going to go very, very slow with this. So I would think that right now it's going to be individual drills. We may work him into limited reps with team half line things, things where there is a um, where there's not a lot of people running around. Because I think you're concerned about initially, I think would be um, not him, but other people flying into. So we have to be careful with that, I think, and allow him to work his way through these things and get used to things again. Are you hoping that the rest of the team uses his determination as an example for the rest of the season? Well, I, yeah, absolutely. But um, again, I, I think it's, um, it's something for everybody to look at, not just our football team.